On our first night in Jacksonville, we had dinner at a town favorite, Lanzarotti's. Uh, I'm John Whitney. I am uh, one of the owners along with my parents, Frank and Sue Whitney. And I've been here off and on for 15 years. Started out washing dishes, went through the ranks, and then uh, it finally, my previous owner wanted to get rid of it. And I was like, hey, mom, dad, you guys want to help? And we're doing it now. So we're in our fourth year and going on five. We're chugging along. The original owners were Mike and Betty Goldestitch. Mike was actually an architect who took the rundown train station and had the vision to turn it into the restaurant it is today. It originally opened in 1987. Alonzo's is truly a staple of the Jacksonville community, so they didn't want to change things around too much with new ownership. They've kept the heart the same, using old family recipes and serving the same house-made Lanzarotti's famous dressing. Just one of the things that keeps people coming back. I was pretty shy at the time and it, you know, waiting tables, busing tables has opened me up being able to just about speak to anyone. And then uh, all the employees, you know, we're, we're family. Uh, one, Terry's been here since I was six years old, going on 26 years and, and, uh, and a lot of us have been here at 10 or more. So we, a lot of loyalty here and we all love this place and we try to keep it going. Just like many restaurants, the pandemic hit Lanzarotti's hard. It's been hit and miss. To-go orders are definitely keeping us alive. We ended up closing for four months or so over the summer. Just, we just said, all right, we're gonna take a break. Make sure nobody, we're all safe. Mm -hmm. You know, we didn't want to be responsible for an employee getting in or a customer getting in or anything like that when the peak months. But uh, now we are doing half capacity. We try to spread out our tables a little bit, um, which does affect reservations we can't take as many but uh with our to-go orders it's definitely keeping us alive hopefully we're gonna try to deliver here soon but we're still we're still working on that did you always do to go I yes mean, yeah. yeah yep but uh it blew up ever since yeah. covid and i think we about 30 percent of our sales is all to goes the menu is pretty extensive but the favorite for many people is the same what's your favorite uh, food, I would say probably the breadsticks, just because they they're, they melt in your mouth, and, and it depends on the right humidity and things like that. They get a little funny sometimes, but when you get the right temperature going with them, they proof long enough, they're perfect. We couldn't end the interview without hearing about the infamous Lanzarotti's train that runs right over the bar. Now tell me about the train that's a, that goes over the bar. Yeah, so uh, that's uh, been a project of my. Uh, it's turning. It was actually a, just a joke between my father and I at first. And then he was like, man, that would be cool. And then he was like, all right, I know I'm gonna get a train. It's like, what if I can find the same one that goes by outside? So it's uh, Burlington Northern, BNSF. So it took him about a year to find the train. He went to all these little stores trying to find the same one that goes by outside. Finally found it on the Coles website. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Coles, yeah. So that's pretty funny. And then he uh, built the train in his basement over the summer. He built the track, the suspension for it. And uh, he's done a lot of the woodwork behind the bar, things like that. So he's pretty crafty. So now does it just go in a circle yeah. around Yeah, yep, there? yep. That's very cool. Eventually, if we're here long enough, we'll get it going a little more. Always joked about the train, and I always joke about, you know, what can we do to make this more look like the train station or give it more feel for the history of it. And uh, once the train went up, I family friend of ours, Drew Fernandes, uh, she had a, uh, or her son is my age, we've been friends for a long time, and he had a bedroom, and she painted, she's a graphic designer, and she's a really good painter, and she painted a, a jungle scene in the, in his bedroom, mm -hmm. and I, I just always remember that, and I was like, hey, just kind of on a whim, like, hey, Drew, you think you'd like to paint a mural for me, and she kind of looked up, she's like, yeah, we can do it, and then thought about it, and I don't think we should paint it on the wall. She'd have to be up there on the scaffolding and things. So she did it in three different canvases and uh, kind of homage to the Chicago Alton Railroad. And we have Chicago on one side, mm -hmm. St. Louis on the other, because the original passenger line went from Chicago to Kansas City. Oh. So on the, on the board out front, it's one of the originals from the train station days. It has Chicago so many miles, Kansas City so many miles this way. Lonzo's is your classic local restaurant. The waiters seem to know everyone who comes in the door, and it just has that family atmosphere. We were newcomers, but we still felt the love, and we couldn't wait to try the food. 
To start, we had a sampler of some of their best appetizers. The fried ravioli, mozzarella sticks, and fried mushrooms. My personal favorite was the mozzarella sticks. So flavorful and delicious. Joni B had a salad with that famous dressing we talked about earlier, and she is still talking about how delicious it was. Thanks to Miss Gwen of Blessings on State, we were actually able to bring a bottle home with us. For our meals, Gwen had the salmon. Joni B enjoyed a heaving portion of the chicken parmesan, and I had the tasty tortellini with marinara sauce. You can mix and match pastas with different proteins and sauces, and there really is something for everyone on Lanzarote's menu. Thank you so much to Lonzo's for hosting us and allowing us to taste your delicious food. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all.